Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again today. I know it's been a while since I posted a video. <clears throat> been uh, doing some other things between soccer, soccer season here in the United States and, uh, and uh, camping and uh, tennis season for my oldest. Been a very busy Dolphin Oracle. So <clears throat> had a chance this morning to show you off a few th new things that have been coming down in the updates with MX15. Uh, some will come. Uh, there's been a few new apps. Uh, let's open up the MX tools. We'll check them out. The first is MX Repo Manager. Now the Repo Manager lets you change your default sources for MX from any of the mirror servers now that are around the world. Now a few of these came out after the initial release of MX15. I think if I remember correctly New Zealand um, may have came out afterwards. Uh, I believe there's also, <clears throat> uh, at any rate, uh, there's you can switch between those and it'll change your sources, uh, your default MX sources. You can also check out the individual sources and look at each individual repo that you have enabled or disabled. This is analogous to all the sources utility in Ubuntu or looking at the Synaptic Repositories option. Uh, you can check the check the box to enable or disable <clears throat> and uh, go from there so handy little tool again another one of those little utilities that we like to um, include just to make life a little bit easier uh, that is the only new one that is in MX tools now that is not to say that other things haven't received updates uh, MX package installer has some new packages in it since installation and we'll fire that up here and we'll take a quick look. There's not a lot new. The idea of the app's exactly the same. Uh, there are a couple of new things. Uh, there is a new Penta, a simple paint program, is in the graphics folder. Uh, for those of you that just don't want to have to deal with GIMP, you know, there's another option for you without having to search through the mess that is Synaptic. Uh, in Media Center, I actually don't remember if these were here before or not. We now have Cody and Plex in the media center uh... let's see there's a couple other oh there's a whole new category utility and in the utility category we have a few some of these are MX apps some of these are antics apps these are apps that either weren't available for the initial release or are such that we really didn't want to include them in the default set of MX apps because they're a little peculiar uh, but I'll go ahead and show them off to you a little bit. Advert Block Antics is a interesting app. I already have all these installed, so I'm not going to install them. But installing them is exactly the same as always. Um, so we'll go ahead and show them off one by one here. I'm going to keep this list open so I can see them. So Advert Antics is an interesting app in that it will add a rather long list to, to your hosts file of advertising servers that should shouldn't it shouldn't connect to so you can say yes okay you can check any or all or some or none if you check them all you're going to get 67,000 entries give or take a thousand in your host file and it just doesn't take that long it downloads the lists does its thing and this automatically goes into effect as soon as your browser, as soon as you start up your browser. Now what do I mean by the host file? I'm going to crack open the Thunar here, and I'm going to go to the hosts file. It's in Etsy hosts, and it's just a text file. Here it is, hosts. I'm going to edit as root because I'm going to delete, delete them here in a minute because I'm kind of interested in... Uh, personally in letting c companies that let me have things for free into at least viewing their ads so anyway here you see, here you see this list antics advert blocker IPs below look at all these entries and I I, crack, I put the line numbers on this thing there was over 67,000 entries uh, and what happens is ads just don't load a browser here Let's see, uh, Firefox. Do, 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 do. Apparently Firefox is updated since the last time I was here. Now we'll go to a site that I know has ads. 
the Antics Freeform site actually has a banner ad across the top. It's usually right here, and as you can see, it's not loading. It's not loading at all. So I'm going to close Firefox, and then I'm going to crack. Oh, look at the host file. And deleting these is is if you want to undo the change, it's it's pretty simple. Just do a little uh, Control Shift End here. Select that entire mess. Delete it. Save the file. See, say I just hit Control S to save, and then if I go back into my web browser, you're gonna find that that ad will now load. It's just a little flash ad at the top. See here it is. It comes right up. So there's the flash ad. So you can see it is in a very effective way of blocking a lot of common ad servers. It takes up no memory. It's not a daemon run in the background. <clears throat> the only trick to it is you just need to uh, run the utility. If you notice ads starting to pop up, you just need to rerun the utility. It's no problem. Originally designed for Annex so that uh, uh, we know it lives on the low resource level uh, operating system. Uh, here's another one, MX Clocky. That's this guy over here in case you weren't wondering. Uh, it's an interesting little app. You can see there's a little MX icon in here, but it's just a desktop clock. You can there's a, about a bazillion themes for it. Uh, this one's the the default, but uh, I, I'm kind of partial to uh, some of these others. You can hit a preview before you apply the change to see what it looks like. And if you hit apply, then there's your new clock face. So some of you like a little desktop bling. That's kind of cool. Uh, MX Test Repo Installer is a handier app than you might imagine. It is a installer just for the test repository. So anytime that you're looking for an app and you go into the forums, you say, hey, can you get this app? And they say, hey, it's in the test repository. Well, you could either go through Synaptic or MX Repo Manager and enable the test repository and open up in Synaptic and it's just mixed in with everything else. Or you can open up MX Test Repo Installer and you're going to get just the apps that are in the test repository. Uh, there's a lot of them. There's about, last time I counted, there's about 700 or so. Uh, that includes libraries and dependencies and such things like that. There, luckily, there is a, if you don't know the exact name or if you just want to search for something, you use a control F to search. And for instance, OBS Studio. Here it is, OBS Studio in the test repo. It makes it slightly easier to install. One of these days, this will get moved over into the main repository, but they keep updating the thing. So, uh, we just need some people to try it out, which is one reason for Test Repo Installer to be here is that we hope it's easier for people to try out test apps without accidentally leaving the test repository open during a disk upgrade, during a system upgrade. That, that personally, I feel, can cause problems um, for any distribution to have its test repository enabled all the time. Some people do it all the time, no problem. I like to not have to reinstall my operating system all the time so uh, I have not reinstalled this system since the initial release of MX15 and see no real reason to because I'm not keeping strange repositories open uh, not strange MX, nothing wrong with the MX test it's just uh, I like to keep it not enabled by default same for dev multimedia all right anyway so that's MX test repo installer MX USB unmounter is this little guy down here and what it is, this is analogous to the, I don't think I have any devices installed right now, but this, uh, this is analogous to the safely remove menu item in Windows. I know a lot of people just tend to pull their USB sticks right out of the drive. We see it all the times in the forums. Uh, so anyway, that's what this is. you got uh, list devices, help, up, and quit. Uh, it, that one will run automatically when you start up. So... Uh, you know, some people want that, some people wouldn't. Anyway, it's here for you if you want it. And Streamlight Annex, check out my video on Streamlight Annex. It's basically a YouTube streaming utility. Um, again, it runs with MPV. It, it, it down, either downloads or streams videos to a non-web browser. Check out my video on that. I'll put a link here so you can check that out if you want. It runs just fine in MX. It just uh, was originally meant, again, for the low-resource uh, conscious antics operating system.
There have been a, uh, several little updates to things over time. Uh, one of my favorites is MX is the uh, not MX, but the apt installer or apt updater, the little update utility here in the corner. You can now get a history of all the packages that you've installed over time. Anyway, you can see all the apps that you've installed over time. Okay, so it's a history view. Uh, you can also force an update, check for updates. You can force a check for updates, which has been a feature I've been want, looking for for a while. And then you can also uh, get a history of everything you've installed. I almost forgot, there's one more. Yeah, it's not in the tools because it's a, it's a, it's in the system menu. MX System Sounds is an app that will allow you to uh, manipulate event sounds on MX15. Now, if you recall in the MX15 video, you watch new video. The we talked about having the event sounds, and we have very. It was a very simple implementation because it's whatever was built in MX, into into XFCE on the appearance tab, on the event sound, on the settings tab, on event sounds. You could check these boxes. Okay, well that's what MX System Sounds takes a little bit further because sometimes you want the event sounds but not the login sounds, and sometimes you want the login sounds but not the event sounds. Okay, well this will do that. Oops, I just went off the screen. So you can click, you can, you can, uh, you can enable the bleeps and blops event sounds. You can enable just the login logout sounds. You can play a custom sound, or you can choose a sound, any sound you want. I've got this Native American flute, but uh, if you click this button here, this actually will take it back to whatever the theme default is. You can't hear the sounds the way I've got my audio set up, but this is the default Borealis logout sound, and this would be a a, uh, a Native American flute composition put together by foreign member uh, Eno or Ino. I'm not sure how to say his name. E I N O. But uh, uh, you can also choose a theme. I don't have any other themes installed, but there are a few themes in Synaptic, and I suppose you could create your own if you really wanted to. XFC's event sound support is very rudimentary. That's why uh, we put together this app so that you can have. You don't have to enable the event sounds to get the login and logout sounds now. That app and MX Repo Installer, or Rep Rep MX Repo Manager, should come down automatically in your system updates. The other apps are available in MX Package Installer. So that's just a few of the new apps available since MX 15's release. For tips, tricks, how to's, head over to mepuscommunity.org or throw up a post at forums.mepuscommunity.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.